Hey there, everyone. How are we doing today? Well, it is Sunday. What is today? 16th? 17th? I don't even remember. 17th, I think. And that means it's time to tell you how I did for the week. It's interesting looking at your goals, kind of breaking them down into different sections, and then realizing that you had a plan, you know, 10, 11 weeks ago. And, you know, something came out of left field and, and kind of threw it all up in the air. But again, the reason you do goals is because you have to keep going. You have to keep moving forward. I really enjoy kind of reporting back to you how we're doing. Uh, so without further ado, let's share with you how last week went. So here you go again. Uh, this is your first time looking at my goal spreadsheet. I try to bake, break my life down now into different sections. Uh, you know, I'm trying not to uh, I don't think, you know, you just throw one target out there. Uh, I try to have a balanced life and enjoy life as we move forward. So what I've done is uh, health goals, number one, uh, it always is. Uh, something that's become very common today is people to say health is wealth. Uh, I have believed, um, you know, being healthy is always important. Again, it doesn't matter how much money you have or what, how much stuff you have if, if your health is ungood uh it, it's hard to enjoy it and frankly if we're honest uh when i was 30 years old one of the reasons i knew i couldn't do what i was doing for a living for the rest of my life is the people up my food chain were not healthy uh, they were addicted to stuff that was not good they were predominantly obese not fat obese and i wanted none of that so um health has always been important to me uh things have changed Obviously, you can see we started off strong uh, with the running goals. It was a big thing I wanted to do. Uh, but with this uh, stay-at-home orders and just uh, being extra cautious, not doing a lot of running, any running I am doing is kind of wind sprints or things just in my around my house. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Th that goal is certainly going to change uh, in the next 13-week period, but we're going to finish this one up with, uh, with two more weeks to go. Uh, intermittent fasting. Again, have, have lit that slide. Um, just staying at home is um, not, uh, not good for that. Snacking late at night, that's usually what does me in, uh, whether it's a fruit or some you know, pretzels or something. Uh, and of course, uh, because again, we're not, doing as, we're not burning as much calories and frankly eating more calories, my weight is going in the wrong direction. Haven't lost a pound since week three. Um, not good, folks, not good. Uh, on the social media impact, uh, we are seeing still nice growth on so, uh, views, uh, although clearly a negative trend has formed. Uh, but again, you know what I'm seeing is roughly 2,000 views a day, which is awesome. I'm just in just some small, small person looking out there to help folks grow and see that financial freedom or a better financial future is possible. Uh, I don't do generally clickbaity titles or anything of of that nature. I just want to help. Uh, so I will uh, be happy with what I have. Podcast listens, uh, almost 10,000, uh, almost 10,000 in a week. Uh, definitely some growth there. Uh, it does help that I'm putting out a lot of content, two to three videos a day. Uh, so that is cool. Uh, YouTube subscriptions. This is a big one for me, right? Every area has a big one for me. Uh, this is one that clearly, again, is on the downtrend. Uh, I don't do a great job of asking for subscriptions and, you know, hit smash that like button and all those things. So this is definitely on me. Uh, but anything you could do to help grow the channel would be much appreciated. And then Instagram subscribers, again, never been very good at this. Uh, we did see an uptick yesterday. I did a li Instagram live for almost an hour with um, another real estate investor, which was very helpful. Uh, got 15 or 20 uh, Instagram subscribers from that. So maybe that's something else I should do. If you're watching this and you have an Instagram uh, page and you want to talk real estate, reach out to me. Uh, maybe we can do another live stream. And again, happy to do it seven days a week, any topic you like. So if you have an Instagram page and you want to do an Instagram live to talk about real estate, let me know. Uh, I would be happy to do that with you. And then as far as the business of buying real estate, uh, I am, you know, we're starting to see a pickup the doldrums of the, you know, the first couple of weeks of the uh, shutdown are kind of behind us. I can definitely feel an energy, again, in the real estate market, making a lot of on-market offers, 
Uh, you can definitely see a trend that's been going on for four or five weeks now. Um, I do believe that deals will be end up in the multiple listing service. Uh, I have seen that before when sellers, you know, when it gets dicey, they reach out to real estate agents in list. So uh, making lots of offers there. Only a couple of counters yet, because again, as I say all the time, sellers remember yesterday and buyers want tomorrow. Uh, so we're in that little um, area. Have, re have reviewed a couple of deals from um, wholesalers this week. Uh, they're getting better, uh, but they're still not what I would consider a deal. Uh, you know, all of these are generally cash purchases. Um, we did talk about uh, and actually shared on this channel a, a nice six unit building. Uh, wasn't in Fresno, which is why I didn't say yes to it. It's, uh, it's in a city that's close to Fresno. But again, I'm picky. I don't need the extra stuff. So uh, I did not take on that deal. Uh, but we did share that uh, earlier, which was uh, less than 1%, right? So it beat the 1% rule. And uh, having agents uh, call out to me now, um, had that happen uh, last week, which was a deal we got in contract for 175 and a couple of agents reached out this week. So it is increasing. Um, going to need to spin up marketing activities with the hub. Not sure what we're going to do there yet. Uh, probably some door knockers or um, door hangers, door hangers. Um, so we'll see what's going on there. Not increasing uh, cash flow. We haven't bought anything, although we will hopefully close this 175 deal. I'm guessing it'll be the next quarter uh, goals, but there's a chance it closes in two weeks. We shall see. Uh, we do have two two flips in contract. Uh, we're doing some signing Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then we'll see about buying. We're not, we haven't done a lot of buying. Uh, we do have one in contract, that 175 deal, which will be nice, but uh, we shall see. Not spending any money, right? 500 bucks for the quarter on stuff. Man, I haven't been out of the house, so pretty hard to spend on stuff. Um, we did finish the um, Harry Potter series. Uh, which again, I never saw. I'm not into that, I guess I'll call it fantasy area. But it was something Olivia wanted to do and we watched uh, We watched it. Now she wants to watch Lord of the Rings, which is probably going to kill me, but I'm sure I will watch it with her. So again, we're trying to do some fun things. After that though, I told her we got to watch Fast and the Furious or something, you know, something more my speed. But Lord of the Rings, I think is next. And then it's for one rental at a time, right? Kind of the umbrella message, which is really the goal that I'm trying to do, create something that uh, outlives me by a hundred years. Uh, another couple hours of content uh, a week. This is probably more like three or four hours uh, done. Uh, we're back to selling some books. It looks like Amazon is sort of caught up with itself. Uh, did 65 books uh, the, uh, this week. Actually I had sold 15 yesterday, uh, which was about what we were averaging pre-shutdown. Um, but you know, we, we, uh, we shall see five star reviews. Thank you for that. We did four this week, not quite the five I'm hoping for. So if you are watching this and you read or are reading, please do me a favor, uh, and leave a five star review on Amazon, um, or on audible. Sorry, I drew a blank on audible's name. How funny is that? Uh, only got one audible review this week. So please help me out there. Love to see audible get over 50 uh, five star reviews. That would be awesome. Even if you just say five stars, great book, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we did sell um, 42 audible books last week, which is kind of cool. I'm really glad we, uh, we did that. It was a, it was a rough process, but clearly proven to be a, a, a good decision. And then as far as giving back and helping folks, uh, we had nine people sign up for the free course. Uh, and we had four people sign up for the paid course. Again, I've said it many times, the paid course is really the best thing I've created. Uh, I think it is a uniquely positioned for this environment. I think markets are going to react individually different but from shutdown, supply, demand. Uh, I think the national numbers have never been less important the next couple of years. Uh, and then as far as the t-shirts on Shopify, haven't sold any of those since January. Don't market them. Probably should stop doing that. It's costing me 40 bucks a month. Uh, and then donations. We're probably going to do another donation um, the final week of this quarter, uh, but we've already donated a couple of thousand dollars um, giving back to food banks. Um, that's just something that's important. Uh, food was, uh, you never should want for food. So donating to food banks is kind of my choice at this point, uh, but we'll see what we do in a couple of weeks. So 
again, that's what I'm doing the, this last week. How about you? How did you do the last week? Um, I challenge you to think about your goals. Uh, a lot of us have been smacked in the face, kind of have to reset the year. Uh, maybe it's time to do that. What do you want to accomplish in the next, I don't know, how many weeks do you think are left? 30 weeks, 35 weeks, whatever it is. What do you want to do? Let's break it down. Health goals, business goals, relationship goals, spending goals. What do you want to do? I suggest you learn your market. One minute at a time works. It's proven. 20-year track record. But I think you got to learn your market the next 90 days. So if I had a vote, you should look at your market every day. You should look at your market. How about this? Six days a week, 10, 10 to 15 minutes a day. Let's figure out what's going on together. All right? So that's what I got for you. Those are my goals. We'll see how I do in the next seven days. Take care.